Imagine your child on the street, 24 hours a day. No father or mother to protect you. No place to eat, no place to sleep, no love. You're on your own. 50% of Nepal's 24 million population is under 18 years old. Over 3 million children are child labourers. Thousands are forced to live on the street. Today, this is the reality of Nepal. This is Resham. He was forced to live on the streets for many years. Child Welfare Scheme now employs him as a street peer educator. The children work during the daytime and this is where they have to live because here they sell the rubbish they collect. Knowing the life of a street child, Resham can tell us why children are forced into this means of bitter survival. Most of these children come from one of the many slum areas in town. These slum people have absolutely nothing. They can't even feed their children or send them to school. So they also have to work to survive. That's when they start rat picking and eventually end up on the streets. You see, a lot of these children come from broken homes. They see domestic violence and abuse daily. They decide to run away, but as newcomers on the street, they are an easy prey. On top of that, their friends convince them that they are free on the street. Nobody can control them, they can do whatever they like. Soon, they are introduced to drugs, and slowly street life becomes a reality. But these kids don't know the dangers that lie ahead. They are just trying to stay alive. In order to survive, these children have to work, eat and sleep in filth. They are at risk of trafficking, sexual abuse and drug addiction. 53% is reportedly HIV positive. They face hunger, disease and exploitation. These children become an easy scapegoat, are arrested and jailed for something they didn't do. They have to tolerate police brutality, cruelty and disrespect from society at large. This is Resham, five years ago. I also lived on the street for most of my life. With a gang of friends, we used to roam around and work on the streets. We stole whatever we could and I've been addicted to drugs as well. It's because I've been a street child myself that I'm really so happy that I can work with them now. Society doesn't tolerate these children or has a place for them and that's why we've been able to become junkies and thieves. This is a street children's center where I work. The kids can come here in the daytime and they can even stay the night. Let's have a look. A street children's center was set up by Child Welfare Scheme to offer these desperate children an opportunity to help themselves. About 40 street children visit this center daily. It's a place of their own and they are respected. They can learn, play, be creative, and receive medical attention and health counseling. These non-formal education classes stimulate the younger children to enjoy education again 
and it is a route back to normal school. The centre offers the teenagers a job training and help in finding work. Education is one of the main aspects of our programming, but the children also need a place to relax. They don't get a lot of sleep at night on the streets, so we also want them to feel at ease and carefree while they are here. A night shelter offers them a clean bed and a place to sleep, away from the horrors of the street, while the kitchen club provides a healthy meal each day. They can save their money in this children's bank. It is a way back to a normal life and a future. The ownership and participation by the children themselves of this centre makes it unique and one of few in the world. We really feel it should be the children that run this program. 75% should come from them. This creates a feeling of ownership and self-respect when they realize what they are capable of. 25% is our help and guidance to make this happen. The children's bank, for example, is completely operated by the children themselves. Even the bank manager lives on the street. We are just here to show them the way, but the children take the initiative to uplift themselves. Getting them involved is the best way to help them in the long run, and I really feel that we are making a big contribution to their lives. This centre offers the children the opportunity to be a child again. All these vital services give these desperate children some access to child rights. But sadly, it is a drop in the sea in a devastated country where children come last. We need your help badly to give these kids their childhood back. It's their child right and our simple plight.